Hey everyone, I have a new updated timeline for the arrival of the $1,400 stimulus checks. Let's get right into this. But hey, today is a really good day, right? I am excited. Do you know why? Because finally, the relief that everybody has been waiting for is on our doorsteps. Many of us thought that this day would probably never come, but guess what? We're finally here. So anyway, let's get into the timeline and I'll let you know what I am thinking on these $1,400 stimulus checks and when they could possibly arrive into your bank accounts. Welcome back, everybody. It's great to see you as always. Thanks so much for your continued support. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you're subscribed by hitting the button down below. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Also, feel free to share any of my videos here on the channel with your friends, family, and social media so we can continue to help out as many people as we possibly can. Thank you once again. I really do appreciate it. Also, one quick note. For those of you who have children aged 17 and under, in just a few hours from now, I'll be releasing a dedicated video talking about the child tax credit. You definitely want to watch that video and again, share with some people because that video, it's only about 10 minutes long or so. I don't even think it's that long. That video could be worth several thousand dollars for you starting in just a couple months from now. So make sure you watch for that video here in just a few hours. All right, let's talk about the new updated timeline. I have to give you full disclaimer. I don't know exactly when the checks are going to be hitting accounts, okay? I'm just being totally honest with you. I don't know. I'm thinking the IRS doesn't even know. The Treasury doesn't know. President Biden doesn't know. Nobody really knows exactly when they're going to hit. However, based on all of the information that I have at my disposal, I'm giving you my best guess based on all of the research I've done, based on all the research and the information that I have and the knowledge that I have on all this stuff and based on history of the distribution of stimulus checks with the last couple uh, packages. So again, please do not hold me to these dates, but rather I'm giving you my best estimation with the information that I have. So as you know, a couple days ago, I released a video saying, um, what was my title on that? It was something like, when are they going to arrive? When is the $1,400 going to arrive? In that video, I was predicting that he would be signing the bill, he being President Biden, would be signing the bill today. Well, many of us know that it's not going to be signed today. It's actually going to be signed tomorrow. So as a result, that's actually going to push our timeline back a little bit, which is why I'm giving you this video. So with that being said, let's get into this. Okay, so everything's passed through the House, through the Senate, we're done. Now it's on to President Biden for the signature and that is the last step in this process. And then <laughs> the $1,400 can start flowing. I can't believe we're finally here. So he is going to be signing the bill tomorrow afternoon. Once he slaps his signature on it and signs it, that's it, that is done. It is done, it then becomes law. Everything within the bill is then law. It is a done deal. So with that being said, since the signature is going to happen tomorrow afternoon, here's what I'm predicting. We're, the signature is going to be backed by a weekend, okay? So Friday afternoon, it's signed, and then we're backed up by the weekend. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm not gonna give them much credit for working over the weekend, simply because I can't imagine that Janet Yellen over at the Treasury is going to be pounding away over the weekend, getting everything all set up and ready to distribute checks, right? So unfortunately, I'm going to write the weekend off as nothing is going to get done. Now, maybe they'll be working on the weekend, but I'm not really gonna give them any credit for that simply because I just don't really think it's gonna happen. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna write the weekend off as kind of just two days of just wasted time that nothing's gonna happen, okay? So that puts us at Monday. Do I think they're gonna arrive on Monday? Well, no, honestly, I, I don't really think I'm gonna give you a date of Monday simply because again, we're gonna to have to write that day off as kind of the day that they're gonna be setting everything up, getting everything in order since the signature happened on Friday. But here's what I am guessing. I do think, here's my best estimation. Again, please do not hold me to this. I think with the new timeline that we have here, my best guess is that I do think payments could start hitting accounts on Tuesday. Tuesday, March 16th. I do think that is my two, my new timeline. I think that absolutely we could have payments hitting accounts as early as Tuesday, March 16th. That is just a few days from now, not that many more days, but I get it. When you're struggling, <laughs> any, any extra days is not fun, right? I'm not laughing at that because it's funny. It's I'm laughing because it's like, 
you know, we've already been waiting so long and when you're in a pinch and you're, you're starving, you're back on your rent, you need to pay your utilities, you just need the necessities of life, I get it. Every day feels like a month, right? It feels like a very, very long time. So I get it. I understand the struggle, which is why I continue to be here for you present every single day. So that's what I'm thinking. Tuesday. Tuesday of this coming week, so just a few more days, I really think that the payments could be hitting accounts that day. Now again, payments, just like the last couple rounds here, will continue to shuffle into accounts going forward from there. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, again, probably everybody, well, I, I shouldn't say everybody, because I don't know that for sure, but a lot of payments should be hitting accounts all throughout next week. Now I have to throw this out there. I have seen in many of my sources, okay, so I look at multiple different sources. I, I don't even know how many sources I look at, but I cross-reference all my information across multiple sources. Like, I think I have like 12 to 15 sources that I look at daily, and I cross-reference things in as many sources as I can. Just to, to, I never trust one source. Let's just put it that way. I never trust one source. So I always like to double-check everything in multiple locations. So I've seen this pop up in a few locations, and I... I just want to throw this out there. In many sources, I've been seeing this, this phrase thrown around saying payments will be sent out later in the month. So what does later in the month mean? I don't know what later in the month means. I mean, are they talking later in the month being March 27th? Or are they talking later in the month being March 16th? Honestly, I don't know what they mean by that. I have not found any sources that give specific dates. They just continue to say later in the month. And in fact, President Biden actually made that exact same statement saying payments will be distributed later in the month. Again, I don't know what that means, but hopefully later in the month just means like next week, a matter of just a few days from now. However, based on history and based on the last $600 stimulus check, Again, I've, I've referred to this before in previous videos, but I'm just gonna say it again for those of you who maybe didn't hear it. And that is when President Biden, uh, let me sit, take that back, President Trump, late last year, uh, he signed that stimulus bill. Remember the $900 billion stimulus bill at that time that had the $600 stimulus checks? He signed that late on a Sunday night and the first round of payments started hitting bank accounts Tuesday night. So 48 hours later, payments were already hitting accounts. So. I anticipate that's probably going to be the case once again, which is what's, uh, how I came up with my timeline saying Tuesday. You know, he signs it tomorrow afternoon, we write off the weekend, we have Monday to prepare, and then all of a sudden, bang, Tuesday, they're starting to hit accounts then already. Now, that's just my guess, my guess. So, who's gonna get the payments first? Well, it's gonna be anybody that has direct deposit information on file with the IRS. That is the fastest way that they can send out payments to the American people is through direct deposit. So if you filed a 2020 tax return, I know a lot of you did this year because you were missing out on your payments from last year, maybe the 600 bucks for yourself, maybe the payments for your, um, for your dependents, maybe you were claimed as an adult dependent and you missed out on the two checks in 2020 and you took my advice. Congratulations to all of you who are getting all of that money. That is awesome. I'm so happy for you. So cool to see all the comments down below saying, hey, I was claimed as an adult dependent. I missed out last year, but guess what? My account just got blessed with 1800 bucks. That is so cool. I'm so happy for all of you. But guess what? You got another 1400 coming. So what I'm saying is, if you filed a 2020 tax return, maybe because you were working and you have to file a tax return, or maybe because you filed and maybe you received social security or SSI and you filed simply because you had missing payments from last year. Again, I really hope that you inputted, um, you included a direct deposit information on your tax return. If so, you're gonna be one of those people at the front of the line getting your payments uh, right away, right away once again. So cool stuff. So again, I'm sure just like the last couple rounds, unfortunately, there's gonna be a handful of people that fall through the cracks, just like every time with these kinds of things. And we'll need to follow up in a couple weeks from now and say, hey, you still haven't received it, what happened? You have your direct deposit information on file, maybe you have a direct express card, or you know, who knows what's going on there. You have some kind of electronic payment going on, and for some reason, you didn't get your payment. What is going on? Well. 
don't worry, I'll continue to be here for you and I'll continue to keep you updated. I'm sure over the coming days and weeks, we're going to be getting a lot of new information regarding the distribution, the payment methods, uh, paper checks, prepaid debit cards, maybe the Get My Payment tool. Remember that one? The Get My Payment tool on the IRS website. I'm anticipating that will open up once again so you can start tracking your $1,400 on the IRS website. You know, all this stuff. There's going to be a lot of stuff. And, and I, as I said in my live stream yesterday, I was saying um, I would anticipate the non-filer tool that opened up last year, like, mm, when was that even? It opened up like mid-year 2020 for those people who typically don't file a tax return. I would anticipate that portal will open up once again in probably a couple months from now, just my guess. I don't know for sure, I'm just guessing simply because, like I said, unfortunately, people will fall through the cracks and they need to figure out a way to get that money to the people. So. Uh, this morning when I was doing my research, I came across some really good information and I'm going to make some dedicated videos about that as far as the $1,400 stimulus checks. And for those of you who, um, you know, haven't received it or some loopholes, um, I love strategies and I love to share those strategies with you of how to get this money quickly and how to get as much money as you possibly can. So anyway, that's my new updated timeline. I think here... In a couple days, Tuesday is the day I have my eyes on as far as the deposits could be hitting accounts that day and throughout the rest of next week. Tuesday and on through the, uh, the rest of next week, I think all of us could be getting some nice deposits into our accounts. Now again, tonight, President Biden is going to be speaking in a, um, he's going to be talking to the, the nation. He's going to be addressing the nation. So be watching for that. I will not be streaming that one tonight. <laughs> for any of you who uh, joined us last time, that was a little bit of a disaster. Whoops. I broke the rules a little bit. Sorry, YouTube. Uh, they didn't like me for that one. Anyway, um, so I will not be streaming that, but uh, <laughs> you might want to watch it on your own. I will watch it for sure, and I will get you an update um, maybe later this evening or tomorrow morning sometime with an update on whatever he says tonight. But hope this helps you out with my latest uh, timeline. And for those of you, once again, who have children aged 17 and under, make sure you're watching for that video here in just a couple hours. It's going to be worth several thousand dollars for you if you watch that video. So you want to make sure that you're staying on top of all this stuff. There's a lot of money right now out there. You just got to know how to grab it. And I'm going to teach you the strategies of how to get it as quickly as possible and make sure that you are getting as much as you possibly can. Thanks again, everybody. Make sure to share the videos, hit that subscribe button, and thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. I will catch you again in a few hours. I'll see you later. Thanks, everybody.